I'm gonna have to do some landscaping to work on this thing. First, I gotta try to get inside. Oh, I don't know. Getting 30 volt. And the blower ain't working. I got to figure out why it ain't coming on. I don't hear it. I got to get back there to get to it, though. Oh, There ain't no snakes back here. These damn thorns. I ain't worried about snakes right now. I'm worried about the thorns. We got an X13 blower motor and it is not running. These are still hot, it's got power to it. You gotta check and make sure you're still getting 240 volts. I'm checking on black and yellow. Forty volts. So now we got to confirm that we got 24 volts between one of these and common, and common is all the way over here. That's 30 volts. So that motor should be turning. Next, we're going to ohm out the motor and see if this module is bad. What you did. Pull these out. And we're going to disconnect the module. Next, we're going to ohm out these windings. Basically, this is a three phase DC motor. So, all these windings should ohm out the same but first we're gonna ohm each winding to ground and when I check ground I check to the big X underneath all right I want to catch this so I can show you doing the red wire to ground nothing blue wire to ground nothing now we're doing black wire to ground y'all see what I'm doing here Nothing. 
Okay, so we're going to ohm here to here, here to here, and then here to here. All three possibilities on a three phase motor. First one. About 6.56. Also about 6.56 and the last one last option that one's 6.60 6.59 it ain't perfect but I think it'll work so we're going to get a new module for this first I'm gonna put it all back together we're back with a module so That module costs just about as much as a replacement motor. Of course, not the OEM motor, one of those green ones. still on I'm so I'm hoping with the power on when you plug it up it gives a little spark but but this should be fine I've done it multiple times before in fact it's the first time I've owned out one of these ECM motors with that meter. And that was a really stable reading. If I do that with my fluke, the reading is all over the map. And you gotta guess for the halfway point. Like that was like 6.6. .6. If that had been a fluke, that would have been anywhere from like 5.6 to 7 varying in between. And you got to guess which ones. You just got to shoot for the middle and hope that all your middles are the same. moment of truth we're about to put 24 volts to it 